Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brandon and I've got Tiffany with me today. And what we're going to be doing is is take you guys taking you guys through a movement class. I'm going to be coaching Tiffany through this to give you a, a little bit different perspective on what it would be like if I was coaching you. Okay. Ready to go? Let's go. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is just get a little bit of a warm up. I'm going to have Tiffany just give me a squat. I want her to inhale down. She's going to reach. She's going to exhale up. We're just going to get a little bit of tempo with this. Her squat is perfect. Inhale down, exhale up. The reaching allows us to have a little bit of balance. Inhale, exhale. I want her to feel her heels through the ground without losing the forefront, forefront, forefront of her foot, so her big toe. Okay. Inhale down, exhale up. Good. And if you guys are at home, just follow along with us. Inhale down, exhale up. Let's do one more, and I'm going to have you guys pause on this. We're going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Perfect. Go ahead and stand up. Okay, let's come to our mats, and let's get on our hands and knees. So in this position, we want to press through the ground. So Tiffany's going to spread her scapulas. And I want you to feel your rib cage come underneath you, okay? Perfect, right there. So notice how her pelvis went this way. So it shifted a little bit into a posterior tilt. Now I want you to reach with your right arm and kick your left leg long. Okay, we're gonna hold there. We're just engaging through the ground. We'll go five, four, three, two, one. And let's go ahead and switch. Good, nice and long. Imagine you're pulling yourself apart for five, four, three, two, one. Let's go ahead and switch again. Right arm long, left leg long. I want you guys to feel your left glute. And again, feel your rib cage underneath you to find those abs for three, two, one. Perfect, switch. Left arm long, right leg, rib cage is down. Breathing while you're in this position, drive the right arm through the ground for two, one, and relax. Perfect, Tiffany. Okay, let's go onto your back. Feet are gonna be underneath your knees. And let's drive the feet through the floor, okay? And first thing we're gonna do here is just gain, gain some awareness of our pelvis. So if I was to slide my hand under your back, Tiff, so give me an arch in your back, yep. Butt stays on the ground, now get rid of that arch. Perfect, okay, arch again. Okay, get rid of the arch. I want you guys to be in a position where you don't have an arch. So if I was there, I would not be able to get my hand underneath the small of your back, okay? Feet are gonna be squared up with your hips. See if you can get your butt off the ground but your back stays on the floor. Perfect, so that's a posterior tilt. Now I'm gonna have her bring her right knee into her chest. Feel your left glute, and let's alternate. Right foot down, left knee comes up. Now we get right glute. Let's go ahead and switch again. Left glute, good. Right glute, go one more each. Perfect, one more. Got a girl. Okay, now with both feet down, let's find that position with your pelvis. Now let's drive the hips off the ground. The back is gonna come off the ground as well. Okay, so now drop down a little bit so you're not as extended. Perfect. Pelvis is underneath. Now let's march again. So right knee comes up. Got it, girl. And down. Left up. Good. Maintain that orientation. We're going to switch again. We're just priming up the glutes. We're warming up the glutes. Good. Go ahead and keep switching. Got it, girl. We'll go two more each side. Perfect. Good. One more. Good. Got it, girl. Perfect. Feel the glutes a little bit and hamstrings. Good. Go ahead and relax. Okay, let's flip over. And let's go push up position. So, we're going to get into this good, strong push up position. Scapulas are spread. So, go push away from the ground even more and get your rib cage underneath you and tuck. Add it, girl. That's good right there. That's the position that we're looking for. We're just going to stay here and get strong. So I want you to feel your shoulder blades go apart, butts underneath you, and we're feeling your abs. 
when you're in the right position here, you get a bunch of abs. Okay, go ahead and relax. Okay, now we're gonna get back into that same position and you're gonna bring one foot off the ground just about an inch, an inch to two inches. And we'll go five second holds. So strong push up position, good tuck, lift a foot for five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch. We're gonna do it again. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Let's go one more. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Perfect. Got a go. Okay, so let's take a half kneel. So let's go right leg forward, left knee down. So half kneel position. And let's get your back toe, so your left toe underneath you. Okay, so with our pelvis underneath, I want you to try to hover your left knee just off the ground. Okay, for five, four, three, two, one, and relax, we'll drop down. That's really good. We're gonna do it again. So we're driving right glute. Okay, go ahead and lift that left knee off the ground for five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Let's do it again. Back up, press that right foot through the floor. Imagine you're smashing your foot through the ground, pressing it away for two, one, and relax. Let's go one more. Good, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Gotta go, you feel that glute? Yep, okay, switching legs. Okay, right foot tucked, pelvis underneath. Good, drive the knee off the ground. Gotta go for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Left glute's working. Gotta go again. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good, and up. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Let's go one more. Why not? For five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Really good. Gotta go. Go ahead and pop up. And again, you feeling glutes right there? Oh, yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we'll pick things up a little bit. So if you guys have a mat, we'll use a mat for reference. If you don't, figure that's what, probably about five feet or so. And we're just gonna jump to his side and we're gonna reach. Jump to his side and reach. Jump to his side and reach. We're gonna maintain good stability. We're gonna do that for 15 seconds. We'll take a 15 second break and we'll do it three rounds, okay? So ready? Yeah, get a, try it first, feel that out. So give it a reach, reach left arm, coming to the left, reach right, okay? So ready, and we'll go now. Good, that a go. Good jump and reach. Good, if you feel really good, you can go fast. If we're working balance, slow it down. I want you guys to feel comfortable with the position. Good, for five, four, three, two, and relax. Good, shake it out. Take a short break, we're gonna do it again. We're trying to load up those glutes. We're trying to get that good stability through the glutes. Okay, ready. And let's go round two. All you, got a girl, good jump. Left glute, good. Right glute, reach, strong, good. Good for five, four, three, two, one. Good, go ahead and rest. We'll do it one more time. How's that feel? Good. Not bad? Heart beats up. Okay, gotta go. Okay, ready. Last one on you. Get it. Jump, good. Good. Perfect. Good. 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 And relax. Okay, awesome. Okay, let's go back onto our back. And let's just let that heart rate come down a bit. Good. So breathe in. Take a couple really good, nice, slow relax breaths on your exhale feel your rib cage drop feel everything let go on the inhale open up create space exhale let go okay so from this position we're on our backs palms are down let's float the legs straight 
Okay, so straight up to the sky. Okay, heels together, let's point the toes. Okay, the key to this movement is that the low back is into the ground. Okay, I want you to drift your legs forward, but we have to maintain our low back into the ground. So let the legs drift, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and then pull back. Okay, you're gonna go as deep as you can, but your back has to be down. If you lose your back, you went too far, okay? So we're vertical, we'll go ahead and slowly lower the legs for five, four, three, two, one, pull back up. Atta girl, we're doing it again. Coming down for five, four, three, two, one, back up. Good, again, for five, four, three, two, one, back up. Again, we need that back to the ground. Tiffany's doing a great job maintaining that for five, four, three, two, one, back up. We'll get a couple more. Good, for five, four, three, two, one. Let's get one more, really good. Down for five, four, three, two, one. Perfect, getting some good abs, right? Okay, really good. Again, breathe a little bit, slow yourself down. Good, inhale, expand, exhale, let go. Got it, girl. We thank Tiffany for volunteering for doing these videos with us, right? She's out here on her own time. Okay, push up position. So let's work a little bit of mobility. So from this push up position, I'm gonna have Tiffany bring her left foot up to her left hand, just outside of her hand. Big step, okay? Left arm is gonna rotate to the sky. Good, she's opening up. Her right arm is nice and strong. Left arm is gonna come back down. And then put the foot back, kick the foot back strong. Right foot comes up. Right foot comes up, right hand rotates. Left arm is driving down, pressing the floor away. She's gonna bring that arm down. She's gonna do it again. Okay, let's rotate through again, guys. Left leg up, right arm through the ground. Press the floor away, big reach. Good, back down. Again, girl, good, really good, good, kick it back, let's get one more. For you guys at home, when you rotate, make sure that that knee doesn't kick out. Okay, we wanna drive down through the ground, really good, bring the arm down, let's switch again, last one here, right arm, big stretch, good breath, good, right arm down, kick it back, and then relax. Got it, girl, perfect, good. Okay, we're gonna stand up. Okay, from a split squat position. So let's go right leg forward, left leg back. Heavy right leg. Your, your trail leg, your left leg is really light. So imagine that it was on ice. So you're trying to minimize all the weight on that left leg. Let this knee bend and be relaxed, okay? Kick that leg back a little bit for me, Tiff. Good. Okay, now we're gonna drop straight down really slow. Okay, five seconds. Five, four, three, two and up perfect her left knee is going straight down again five four three two one and up perfect that's two back down inhale down nice and slow inhale exhale good her right glutes loaded coming down inhale exhale good got to girl again let's call that five inhale down Exhale up, good, six. Add a girl, perfect, seven, good. Eight, perfect tempo right there, two more. Good, one more, really good. And relax, perfect, you feel that glue going, right? So one of the things that we can do without a lot of weight or machines to make exercise harder is just move slower. If we're in a really good position and we're loading the right tissues, in this case the glute, right, we can make the exercise more effective or harder by just moving slow, okay? Left leg forward, different angle, appreciate that. Let that right heel come vertical and, and bend the knee so it's nice and relaxed. She's heavy left leg, she's really light on her right. She's gonna drop down nice and slow. Inhale, exhale, perfect. One, out of girl, again. Inhale, 
left leg is heavy. Exhale up, perfect, two. There we go, three, really good. Inhale down, heavy left leg, light right leg, up, four, good. Think about this back heel being really vertical. Good, that a girl, five. Good, six. Seven. There's eight, is that a girl? Perfect, two more. Good, nine. And one more. Good tempo right there, tipping, great. Awesome, good, relax, perfect. Really good. Okay, so let's take let's take about a minute rest. We're just chilling, we're gonna do that again. Okay, so we're just recovering, breathe a little bit. We'll let those muscles recover and then we'll go after it again. Tiffany's doing a really good job dropping straight down. What we're trying to avoid in this position is as we drop, we don't want to get really extended. Okay, if we get extended, what we're doing is we're just jamming up our low back. So we want to think about your rib cage and your pelvis being stacked. And then we're just trying to drop straight down so we maximize that effect on the hip. If we start to extend, if our ribs drive up, then we start to create stress and tension in the low back. Okay? go again in about 10 seconds so let's go right leg forward good perfect stance right there again you guys at home think about that back heel being vertical that'll help you get into a good position I only want you working into a depth that you feel comfortable for some of you guys that might be just above the ground for some of you guys that might be you know quarter range of motion okay here we go round two inhale down nice and slow exhale Drive. Got a girl. Perfect. One. Awesome. Good. Two. Good. Three. Good. Tip. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Right leg strong. Good. Five. Moving air with your reps. Inhale down. Exhale. Good. Six. Got a girl. Seven, really good. Eight, two more, doing great. Rib cage down, find those abs. Got a girl, nine. Last one, you guys, let's hold this one at the bottom. Hold it strong, right there is perfect for five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, good job. Right glute, feeling it? Got a girl, good job. Okay, left leg strong. Trail hip, trail heel elevated. Good. Ribs down, inhale down, exhale up. 10 reps, last set. Inhale, beautiful. Exhale up, out of girl, good. Perfect, good. Two. Three, really good. Out of girl, keep that butt underneath you. Strong, good correction right there. Good five, good six. Out of girl, tip good butt underneath you. Strong seven, good eight, perfect. Good two more. one we're holding left leg heavy nice and strong five four three two and relax good job perfect excellent and give you like like this <laughs> enough right there okay doing great okay let's go on your stomach so forearms on the ground we're just gonna work a traditional plank so forearm plank I want your palms flat okay and let's keep the knees down on the first one. So hips are gonna come up and imagine this, if I had my, your rib cage, I'm gonna pull your rib cage underneath you, okay? So press away from the ground, leave your knees down. Got it, girl, perfect. Find your abs, press the floor away, breathe for 10, nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Really good. Okay, the position that Tiffany got into, that's what I want you guys to work for at home. Okay, we don't want to be extended. So we don't want the shoulder blades jammed back. She's going to press the ground away. Her rib cage comes down. Now this time, let's go into the same position and then I want the knees to come off the ground. If you need to back it up, knees down, you can. Okay, I don't want any back stress. Okay, so press the ground away. Rib cage down. So let's reset it. Come back down for me. Okay, knees stay down first. So find the position first. Got it, girl. Now pick the knees up. Good. Holding. Continue to breathe. Let's push for 30 seconds. When you're breathing, think about breathing into your belt line. Lateral expansion. We want belly. We want back. Think three-dimensional expansion with your breath. You're doing great. Another 15 seconds, girl. Stay with it. Strong. Strong, Tiff. Ribs are down, doing great. Stay with it, hips a little higher for five. And break, perfect right there, really good. Getting a lot of abs, right? Good, shake it out, breathe. Okay, we're gonna take a good break and then we'll do it again. So you felt those abs and you kicked down, right? The, a big compensation for most people in planks is to extend. You'll lose this position, the scapulas will collapse now we're not engaging the abs. So you want to think about pulling your rib cage to your pelvis. Keep your pelvis and, and rib cage connected. And that's going to give you a lot more abs. Okay. So we're breathing. We're doing good. We'll do that one more time. Let's take the same setup. So let's start with the knees down. Press the ground away. Find that good, strong, neutral position. Good. And then knees up. Now, if you lose it, just drop the knees back down, okay? Good, so there you go. Okay, ready? Yep, there you go. You need to stay there, you stay there. If you wanna work a little harder, knees are off the ground. We're locked and loaded. Good, we're staying strong. Push for that plank, fight for it. Fight for it. If you need to bring your knees down, you can. Okay, doing great, stay with us. Great, girl, doing great. Abs, abs, abs. Let's go five. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Really good. A lot of abs, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and stand up. Shake it out a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna have Tiffany stand on her right foot. So let's come up here. Right foot, left leg is gonna float off the ground. With your left hand, I want you to try to reach towards your right toe. Inhale. exercise think about your big toe pressed into the ground find your heel think about the balls of your feet being pressed down so big toe and heel with the middle of your foot the balls of your foot inhale exhale a little less knee bend it's probably harder on your left side typically so you might feel like it's easier to maintain balance and strength on your dominant side inhale down
let's get into a push-up position. Okay, so we're gonna come back to the upper body. So what we're gonna do here is we're just going to emphasize the down or the negative on a push-up, okay? I'm gonna give you guys two options. So the first option would be the traditional push-up. You're gonna control it down for three seconds. You do not have to push yourself back up. Okay, if you cannot do that from a full push-up position, then we'll do it from your knees. So let's do one from your knees. You're gonna go three seconds, nose to the ground tip. Don't worry about pushing back up. You can just kind of reset yourself. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, good. And then relax, reset it, and we'll do it again. Okay, you wanna try one from a full position? Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Got it, girl, good. Okay, so let's work. What position are you gonna do, full? Okay. Ready, three, core tight, two, one. Think about your forearms, guys. When you're dropping down, we'll try to keep the forearm vertical, okay? If it starts drifting back, you make it harder. So you probably have to be a little bit forward, Tiffany. Walk your feet forward a little bit more. Okay, ready, three, control, two, that's good, one. Again, find the core, guys. Stay with your core. Got it, girl. Good adjustment. Three. Two, one, excellent. Let's go two more. Good strong position, slow negative. Ready, three, two, core tight, one. Out of girl. Again, imagine I had your rib cage and I was pulling it underneath. Last one. Ready, three, two, and one. Out of girl. Good. By emphasizing the negative or the down, we can make it a lot harder. Okay. How you feel? Good. Really good. Okay, let's go on our back. Okay, so we're gonna work some core. We're gonna work back body line. So I want the knees to be up at a 90, okay? And again, I need the low back into the ground, okay? So rib cage is down. Now let's reach our arms long, but the head is gonna stay down and the arms are gonna be just off the ground. Okay, again, at home, I need your low back through the ground. Okay, so kick one leg long. Okay, perfect, abs are working, right? Okay, let's bring it back up. Kick your other leg long. Okay, I cannot slide my hand under her back. That is key, okay? If you guys start to arch when we do this, I want you to come back to this position, okay? If you feel really strong and one leg long is too easy, then take both legs long. So you're gonna find the position that you can maintain your core Again, if I was gonna drift my hand under, I should not have any space, okay? We'll do this together. We're gonna go 30 second ISO in the position that you can maintain. Ready, and go. Good. You can always back it, back it out to the easier position. Rib cage is down, there's no space. Maintain that core. You're doing good, we're 10 seconds in. Stay with that core. Continue to breathe, breathe into your waistline. 15 seconds to go. Eight seconds to go. Relax, good. 30 second break, we're gonna do it again. Feeling that core work, right? Atta girl. Again, you guys at home, you can always back it, back it out to a position you can maintain. It's more important that we keep the rib cage down and there's no gap, okay? No space between your back and the ground. That's how we're really gonna get that core to fire and to activate. We'll go in eight seconds. In five seconds. Ready, good. Leg long, good job. She picked the other leg, that a girl, that position looks great. Breathe, find those abs. No space, you guys. Stay with it. It's a good isometric exercise to train that core, to train that brace. 10 seconds. And relax. Perfect. Breathe. And we'll do one more and then we'll be done with this, this workout. So you're doing great, Tiff. Good. Okay, we'll give him 30 second rest. 20 seconds. One more, you guys, and then we'll call it a day. 15 seconds. Here we 
Let's go. The last 30 seconds. Take your position. Kick the leg long. If you need to back it up, if you feel like you lose it, back it up. Good job. Keep working. Keep that back to the ground. You're already 10 seconds in. 15 seconds to go. Got a girl. Good. Stay with it. Stay with it. Stay with it. 10 seconds to go. Five, three, two, one, and last. Good job. Perfect. Easy peasy. Good job, you guys. At home, we appreciate your time. Appreciate you joining us. Give Tiffany a, a big round of applause for her time. And thank you again. I look forward to seeing you for the next workout.